Untapped Celebration Ale. Hi, I'm James Knott, and today we are talking about Celebration Ale from the Sierra Nevada Brewing Company in Chico, California. The founder, Ken Grossman, is an avid hiker and named the company after his favorite place to hike, the Sierra Nevada Mountains. The brewery brewed its first beer in 1980, and the following year, 1981, they started brewing Celebration Ale. This is Sierra Nevada's winter seasonal beer. It is an American IPA with 6.8% ABV and 65 bitterness units. This ale is brewed with fresh hops from the first hop harvest of the season, and they use whole cone hops rather than hop pellets to achieve more subtle flavors. They don't add any spices to this holiday beer. Any perceived spiciness is derived from fermenting the malt and sugars. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, little Mark. Is this beer balanced to you? To me, it's not very well balanced uh, just because I pick up a whole lot more of the hop than anything else. Uh, I mean, it's a very aggressive hop for my palate. I don't pick up on any of the, the sweetness or the maltiness, so to me, it's definitely not a balanced beer. Uh, Joby, would you describe the hop bitterness that he's talking about? Would you describe it as a piney hop? Santa, I definitely would. I mean, there's, there's good piney and there's bad piney, James. During this time of year, you walk into a, a home that has a fresh cut Christmas tree lit up and you smell that pine and it smells great. But you don't want to eat it. Yeah, I've never said, I've never walked into a house one time and said, James, Santa, whoever, I want to lick that Christmas tree. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel when I drink this beer like I'm licking a Christmas tree. Okay, now, <laughs> Mitch, we, we had a little trouble pouring this beer because at first the head was very gr big and out of control. That's what you uh, What would you say about the head on this one? Well, there's a lot of carbonation. Um, if you have an aggressive pour, you're gonna get a lot of head on it. And um, with most beers, you expect the head, if it goes over the top of the glass, to foam over and make a, a little mess, but with this beer, it's soapy and it just kind of keeps going up and cones up and then it comes back down, but um, it sticks around for a long time. It uh, laces the glass well. I do have to say um, about the pininess, I don't get as much pininess as you guys do with this. I do get the citrus more than I do pine, but there's a little pine, but it, for me it's more citrus. So, Mark, is this, uh, when you think of a Christmas sale, is this what you think about? When I think Christmas ale, I'm a lot more used to, you know, Great Lakes Christmas ale, uh, 12 Dogs of Christmas from Thirsty Dog. I mean, those Christmas ales have a lot more sweet maltiness. They use a lot more spices, uh, like, you know, certain kinds of nutmeg, cinnamon, things of that nature, where you actually get a great spicy aroma, a great spicy flavor. With this beer, I wouldn't call it a Christmas ale, and I mean, it's so called a celebration ale, but to me, not a Christmas ale because there's too much hops and not a well-balanced maltiness, and so I'm not getting the sweetness. To me, it's not very pleasant, but then again, I'm not a real hop head. So, I mean, for me, in this book, it, the, this beer is definitely a five. Okay, a five. Joby, do you have Christmas ales that you prefer? Well, like Mark was saying earlier, the, uh, the Great Lakes Christmas ale is definitely more enjoyable to me because it got it, it does have that spice and, and good tasting uh, it's a little maltier yeah definitely more maltier for this beer I just feel like it's a it's a typical IPA James if you gave me a blind taste test with this and other IPAs there's no way that I could pick this out and said yep that's a Christmas seasonal uh, winter seasonal beer for me this is just another uh, running your mill IPA um, that being said it's still not that bad. Um, I know I said I wouldn't look at Christmas tree earlier. Um, I still won't, but I'm gonna give this a six because overall uh, it's bitter, but it doesn't linger too much. Just enough that it's not, you know, too okay. pleasing. So it's good, but not great. Exactly. Okay. Mitch, uh, does this remind you of the holiday seasons? Uh, not really. Um, it, it's a good IPA style beer. But uh, like Joby said, I, I, I could drink one. The bitterness is, sticks around for just a, a little while, but it's nothing that's gonna like make me wanna go back and drink a bunch of them. On this, I would rate it a six. 
Okay, Celebration Ale gets a 5.7 on the BBA scale. Which beer is going to get you through the holiday season? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. I'm Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. And this is your Better Beer Authority. Happy, Happy Holidays! holidays.